Hello, today is our first day in Seattle. We are staying in an area called Wallingford, I believe, and it's lovely weather, We've got a nice weekend ahead of us. We are now going to get our first, probably many, vegan donuts whilst we are in Seattle. Today, because it's really warm, I'm wearing my new dress that I bought in um, Victoria in the last video. It's a lovely dress, I think Chloe it's looks like beautiful. a linen sort of material and I just really like this green. Little twizzle and a twirl. Beautiful. <laughs> this is our first stop. Mighty O Donuts. Bye. So which one did you go for? I went for the good old um, chocolate. chocolate glaze. And I've just gone for a standard glazed donut, which is my favourite. You ready for the taste test? Yeah. Is it a cake donut? Is it? Oh, look at that, baby. Oh. My God. <laughs> so nice. Cake donuts are like my favourite. I prefer, I prefer them over like doughy donuts. I like doughy donuts too. That's amazing. I'm more of a doughy donut person. I don't know which mine is. We shall see. Yeah, so like I say, mine's just a glazed donut, which looks very good. It smells beautiful. That was weird to smell a donut, but it's like wine tasting. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. This is a cake donut as well. Usually I prefer normal, like, dough, dough donuts, I guess, as Chloe describes it. However, this is beautiful. Yum. Something we often used to do when we were back in England was we'd go to Greg's and get just like Greg's plain glazed donuts because it's like two for a pound and just have them with black coffee on a Sunday. And this has given me real like throwbacks to that but on like a an elite level. And I'm enjoying Although it. Although the lot. Greg's donuts are really good. The Greg's donuts are good. If, you're, good if you live in England, go try the Greg's mm. just glazed donut. They're Vegan. very good. Very so. good value. Especially in a time where all the prices are going up. If you want to get a really nice treat that's a good price, go to Greg's. <laughs> Two for one donuts. Greg, sponsor us. <laughs> Donut number one. What would you rate it out of ten? I like. I feel like I want to say ten, but then I don't want to go in too high in case I have a better one. Ten already. <sighs> it was Do you think it's because it's like the first one of the first experience the thing of is, a donut? Like, when we went to Universal in. March this year, they have a voodoo donut there. A voodoo donut, they, it comes from Portland, which is where we're going on Tuesday, and it's the they were the best donuts I've ever had in my life. So I feel like like, but I feel like that was just as good. Really? So like that's like where I set the bar for a ten. So that was a ten. Yeah, I think so. Well, I'm gonna have a voodoo donut on like Tuesday or Wednesday. So we're all to see. See if like if that was as good. But personally, what? I would give mine an eight. Mainly because I prefer doughy donuts to cakey donuts, and Voodoo do have doughy donuts. So, <laughs> if, you, if you know, you know. <laughs> Cute dog.
have got a cold brew and a nitro cold brew. It looks like it's got like cream or milk, but it doesn't. It's just pressed out like a Guinness, basically. So it's cold brew pressed like Guinness. Okay, so we just went to Pike Place, which is um, a crazy market area. And it's also where the first ever Starbucks was. But the line was insane, so there's not we're not going to queue for that. But we just went to the um, roast... Reserve, Reserve roast. Roasters of Starbucks, which was so cool, like a huge, like, if you like coffee, it was like a dream. Um, and there was like pastries and like pizza. Um, Even at a bar where they had like espresso martinis and all sorts of different coffee related drinks. We've just been to a place called Voodoo Donuts. We first went here at Universal in Florida, and Chloe has got a donut. What's it called? Dirty old bastard. The dirty old bastard. <laughs> then we got this one for my dad. I have a maple bar. Remember that? But mine is literally. I had to start filming because Chloe was enjoying it very much. It's a donut with chocolate icing, crushed up Oreos, and peanut butter. It looks pretty great, doesn't it? We are now in Portland. Um, we just had a couple of days in Seattle. To be honest, Seattle and Portland are kind of just little stops along the way as we go to California, where we're spending quite a bit of time, and we are really excited for that. The weather has been amazing. We've really enjoyed, we really enjoyed Seattle. Portland's quite similar. Both, basically, both of them have really cool architecture, some really nice buildings. We only actually went into like downtown Seattle on one day, which we really enjoyed to be fair. However, there were literally people with like glass, what I assume to be crack pipes or meth pipes and different things like that, and they like shout at you. And so it, it was a little bit not scary, but like. It, it makes you quite on edge, which is a shame really, because these places have the potential to be really cool. Later that evening, we went home and had a delicious lemon pasta cooked by Louis. It's actually becoming one of our favourite dishes as we travel. It's super cheap and really easy to make. As Louis said earlier, Seattle and Portland were kind of just stops along the way to California where we have now arrived in San Francisco and our video next week will be showing you around this incredible city. We hope you enjoyed this week's video, it was very relaxed and we ate lots of lovely vegan donuts and explored two new cities. See you next week! <laughs>